Phil and Schumacher, Citadel Defense, and uh, happy Tuesday. Today, September 17th, is Constitution Day. Uh, I'm actually filming this on uh, Monday night. I'm not morning drinking, don't worry. Constitution Day, for those of you who don't know, uh, is September 17th. Every year it was officially made a holiday in 2004. So it's actually pretty recent, but it's a holiday where we remember the signing of the Constitution, uh, which is more and more of a big deal. So I didn't even know this was a holiday up until uh, a couple of years ago, maybe two or three years ago, something like that, not, not long. And uh, now that I know, I try to celebrate it every year and remember that there was a day in this country where after we fought a war uh, and we gained our independence and we gained our liberty, we sought to secure those freedoms and those liberties in our founding legal document, which is the Constitution. Most importantly, of course, represented in the first 10 amendments to that document, the Bill of Rights. Which, of course, as you know, is more and more of a big deal, uh, especially with this next election cycle coming up, where the very foundations of our legal document are being called into question. Uh, most prominently, of course, things like the Second Amendment uh, are being called into question. You have our good buddy, Beto. <laughs> Best of luck to you. Who wants the total confiscation of AR-15s. And the rest of them up there, of course, are, are on board with that or want a gun registry or whatever. They want the start to the end of the Second Amendment. But then, of course, there's much more subtle ways in which your foundational rights are under attack. The Fourth Amendment is more and more getting called into question in this day and age. Uh, every time you go to the airport, your Fourth Amendment is violated to high heaven. Uh, and we all just go along with it, right? Uh, and then there are things like the Electoral College, which is, again, the thing that's being called into question. We should just get rid of the Electoral College. You know, people who said we should get rid of the Senate because all the states are represented equally, which is, of course, the point of the Senate. Uh, or that maybe we should massively expand or decrease the size of the Supreme Court. Uh, or maybe Supreme, the Supreme Court justices shouldn't serve for life. Now, as far as the size of the Supreme Court goes, there, there's no number, as far as I know, that is listed in the actual Constitution. Uh, I think originally it was 12. It was 12 justices, and it's varied over time. But, uh, of course, the life appointment is part of that founding legal document. So, I would encourage you today to go ahead and uh, read your constitution. Quick Google search and turn that up. And remember that that is the founding legal document that protects you in this country. It's a wonderful document. It's probably the greatest governmental document written in the history of mankind. Hands down. I, I would be curious. Maybe the uh, Magna Carta might come, might come in second uh, where they you know, force the king to, to limit his power. But other than that, there, there's not a whole lot that's going to come close. So, happy Constitution Day. May you preserve the liberty that was won for you.